Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Richard Mogan and welcome to another video. And today what I'm gonna be doing is showing you guys how I learn about stocks. And what's so great about today's world is that there's no need to pay 200, 300, even $500 for these stock courses available on the internet. Instead, if you know where to look, that information and even more is available for free and it will help you build a profitable system. So what I'm gonna be doing in this video is sharing with you guys the five best resources that I found to decrease that learning curve. And this will probably be one of the most useful videos that I post to my channel. So make sure you show me some appreciation, hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already. And if throughout the video, if you notice that I haven't mentioned one of the resources that you really like, make sure you drop it down below in the comment section and help everybody out. But with further ado, let's go ahead and get started with number one, Investopedia. Investopedia is basically the Wikipedia for stock trading. And if ever in my videos you don't understand some term that I use, go ahead to Investopedia, click the search bar here and type it in. And what should pop up is a handy article just like this one about the MACD that explains what the indicator is, how it's used and how it's calculated. And I found this especially helpful while writing my Python scripts because often they'll give the calculation for the indicator and then I can just translate that into Python. Um, so this is a great resource when you're learning the language of trading because truly it's another language. Um, at first, I didn't know what a put call ratio was. Um, I didn't know what shorting was. And I looked all that up in Investopedia. So if you're very new to trading, this is an excellent resource for you. They also have articles about um, specific strategies. For instance, can slim, they go through each letter and explain kind of the basics of the strategy and how to use it. So overall, Investopedia is number one on my list because I think it's the first thing that new traders should read and utilize. The second resource that I really recommend is stockb.blogspot.com. And this is basically a blog that does an excellent job of summarizing stock market strategies, particularly if you're a can slim type trader. So each and every day he talks about how the market did, uh, top stocks that he's looking at. And my favorite part of this website is these articles down here that basically explain the different strategies that he uses. Um, there's a lot of great content here. I myself have, haven't gone through each and every article, um, but everything I've read has been well-researched, well-reasoned, um, and fits very closely to my strategy. So if you don't know about Stockbee, um, I highly recommend you check this website out. And once again, all these resources will be in the description below. Uh, you just have to click the links. Um, I also really like how um, similar to the IBD 50, he's got his own stock B list 50. So clicking that, you'll be able to see what stocks are on that um, currently. And often they are very good growth names with great sales, earnings, um, and momentum. So um, just for this, just for this list, this is a great resource. Um, he's also got a couple of videos here linked to his YouTube channel which also do a great job of explaining the strategies. And overall, stockbee.com is a great resource that I highly recommend you check out. And the third resource that I'm recommending to you guys is of course, wishingwealthball.com, uh, which if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I use every single day. Um, and this website is maintained by Dr. Eric Wish of the University of Maryland, who basically taught me everything I know about stocks. Um, and what he does on this website is every single day he posts kind of something like this. Um, and often it's accompanied by a little article summarizing the market action of that day and top stocks that he's looking at. Um, but basically he posts the GMI score here, which is then reflected in the GMI signal over here. And this is probably the most important part of the website. Um, the GMI signal basically tells you what the health of the market is. If it's green, it's okay to be looking for individual investments to add to your portfolio. But if it's red, you might wanna put your foot on the brake and kind of lay off looking for new stocks to add. Um, he also has a very handy table down here with a bunch of recent green line breakouts that he's focusing on. And if you're not familiar with the green line um, strategy, make sure you hit the link that's popping up right now because it's a very useful strategy to know and I have a video going in depth onto how to use it. Um, and you can see that only two out of the 
Uh, many, many stocks here are actually losses, while many of them are up 20, 40, 60%. So um, definitely a great strategy to learn. So if you haven't watched that video yet, pause this one, click the link up above, and come back to this one once you're done. Um, I also um, really enjoy all these different posts down here under topics. Um, he's got a section called My Favorite Posts, which basically outline his specific strategy. Um, so a lot of great content here. Um, I can't summarize it all in just a few minutes, um, but feel free for yourself to uh, look through all these different articles and webinars that he's got on this page and um, learn more about how he trades stocks. The fourth resource that I'm recommending to you guys is actually twitter.com because I found that there's a ton of experienced traders out there willing to share their knowledge with the rest of us. And Twitter is such a great platform because it really creates a community of people sharing ideas, charts, uh, scans, all these different things. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and created a list called Growth Select um, that basically is composed of my top follows. Um, and these are people who are all very experienced um, and willing to help everybody out. Um, so all you have to do is go ahead to my profile and you should be able to subscribe to this list. And there'll actually be a link in the description to the list. Um, so go ahead and just click that and you'll be right there. And the final resource that I'm recommending to you guys is actually YouTube. And it's where I go whenever I wanna learn a new skill from programming to how to play guitar, really anything. Um, and I really like it because I myself am a visual learner. So it really helps me to see an expert um, teach and do the action hands on. Um, so I've got a bunch of featured channels down here um, on my channel, um, full of great people who um, are excellent at teaching how to trade effectively. Uh, we've got the investors.com um, YouTube channel, Mark Minervini, Stock B, Rainer Tao, um, Alpha Charts, and our mission winners. Um, and I really think that the first video that you should watch on YouTube is uh, something that I've tweeted out quite a couple times, but it's a webinar with Mark Minervini and David Ryan that basically outlines their entire strategy. Um, I've watched this over and over a bunch of times, and I learn something new every single time. Um, I also think that Investors.com has a ton of free content available um, from Irusha's um, podcast to past IB Live episodes, um, a ton of educational content that if you don't wanna have a subscription to IBD, um, this is a great free version. Um, I also think that Patrick Walker has some great videos on his channel that really go step by step and really simplify the entire growth trading strategy. And the last channel that I wanna recommend is actually um, somebody who I follow on Twitter, Alpha Charts uh, or Jack, and he posts great in-depth videos um, each and every week analyzing the indexes as well as top growth names. Um, so similar to what I do, but a little bit better. So definitely, if you haven't subscribed to Jack, uh, the link will be in the description below, and I highly recommend it. Um, but that is the five best resources that I have found that are completely free on how to learn an effective trading strategy. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. And if you did, make sure to leave a like down below. It really helps out the channel, and also subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, but that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in future videos. And the last channel that I want to recommend is actually...